I was very much into listening to Ornette Coleman, listening to John Coltrane, and listening to Cecil Taylor in, in Boston and Monk. And uh, I heard that Archie Shepp was having a rehearsal for his fire music recording. Uh, I think one of the very first he did for uh, uh, the um, uh, Impulse label. And uh, he was at Charles Tolliver and uh, Roger Blank's Loft there on Allen Street. And I, I knew about Lofts from, from Boston, but this Loft was really uh, very, very uh, advanced. And they were rehearsing in one room. I said to Shep, uh, let's play some blues. And we went in another room that had the piano, and I played with him. And it was uh, easy to play with him. Uh, I got my own loft on the Bowery and was a duplex. And right away, word of mouth, everyone knew that I was there, uh, including Archie with uh, John Coltrane, and they were getting ready to record Ascensions. And that, uh, uh, John was thinking about my space for rehearsals. Uh, wasn't good enough, big enough. So uh, Art Delugoff let them rehearse there at the Village Gate at, mm -hmm. at that time. So I went to, to hear that live recording, and, you know, that was the beginning of the uh, all, uh, all the way into the avant-garde or the, you know, the new spirituality of free. And... Uh, some of the players were deep in the avant-garde already, and some like Freddie Hubbard, and even McCoy at that time, and, and uh, Jimmy Garrison, wanted to keep it the way it used to be. And they were not that pleased with uh, uh, John Coltrane's transition uh, in the beginning, and I think later on. They, they came around.